A year ago, the BU Bobcats hockey team finished with a season mark of eight wins, 18 losses, and two ties. They missed the playoffs by 10 points. And with that, head coach Mark Arnett went back to work getting the club ready for the coming campaign. A campaign the team feels will see them find the postseason. Now, the Canada West Hockey Conference is made up of seven teams. BU, the University of Calgary, the University of Manitoba, UBC, the University of Alberta, the University of Regina, and the University of Lethbridge. The top four teams make the postseason. Now, for the Bobcats to be one of those four teams, veterans will have to play key roles. As gone are Darren Dirtle, Lindsey Dick, and several other big names. While rookies will try and fill their shoes, vets like Randy Cameron and Kevin Mantell know they'll have to play well for the cast to do well. Both are confident about the coming year. Well, playoffs are our main goal. Got to make those and we'll go from there when that happens. Well, this year it seems the team's coming in. Uh, fresh new season, uh, good attitude. So far, our preseason record's been all right. And, uh, and uh, some guys are showing some uh, real good promise. So I think it's going to be an exciting year for the Brandon University Bobcats. We're not that big a club, so I think we do a lot of skating. Uh, Hopefully we'll put in the puck in that a little more often than last year, but hard to say so far. Uh, we got to shoot for the playoffs. We are shooting for the playoffs this year. Uh, we have a realistic chance of making them, and uh, that's our main goal. While Cameron will anchor the defense and Mantell the offense, between the pipes, Doug Roach is back for his second year as a Bobcat, but this season he is the number one goaltender. He knows he'll play a lot, and he knows he'll have to play well. Well, I see the pressure as a positive that make me work harder. Uh, just the thing is, uh, it might be the only goalie from last year, but these other goalies are uh, very capable of playing too. It'll make me work hard in practice, and I'll just uh, go on into games that way too. Looking ahead, a lot of people saying you're going to have to win the close games. Do you think uh, you're going to play a big role in all the games? Well, I hope I play a big role in all the games, yes. Um, and hopefully that there is no really blowouts unless we're blowing them away. But I like to keep all the games close. Uh, goals against, really got to work on that, but what I've seen so far, defense is playing well, and uh, I think we can uh, win those close games. What about the team in front of you, what do you think? Well, our defense is playing really well, I'm really impressed. Uh, they've been blocking lots of shots this year already, and they've been clearing the rebounds, keeping the guys out. All we got to do is uh, put the puck in the net. Joining us now is the head coach of the Bobcats men's hockey team, and the new athletic director of Brandon University, Mark Arnett. I guess, Mark, we're here to talk hockey. Last season, eight wins, 18 losses, two ties. You missed the playoffs by 10 points. What's the outlook for this year? I think it looks pretty good. Uh, we were very, very young last year. We've gained some experience, although we have lost some, some key players, but hopefully the guys that, uh, that gained some experience last year are going to fill in the shoes of the guys that left. Now, when you look at the team, you lost a couple of guys. Uh, three players went on to the pros. A couple went to England. One went to Australia. What about the new faces? What uh, can the fans expect to see from this year's team? Well, like I said, some, some of the young guys last year hopefully can fill the shoes of uh, some of these other guys. Uh, new guys coming in, it's going to take them a while if, if they develop quickly. Guys like Sean Brandt, who played two years at State, which means he's had some college experience. He shouldn't take as long to develop. Terry Kowalczyk has a lot of junior experience, good size. Uh, and uh, Don Gagne as well up front is, uh, is very quick, could help us up front and give us a little speed in defense. Dave Higgs, who's from Brandon, has played very solid. I'm really impressed with the way he's played so far. Now, we talk about the scheduling now. Last year, uh, you were up against some pretty tough billing around the city. Uh, the men's basketball team was playing, or the Wheat Kings were playing. Uh, what's the schedule like? Are you going to try and change that for this season? Well, one thing this year is we're not going head-to-head -head with the Wheat Kings as much. Uh, it's a small community, and uh, you know the Wheat Kings have a good tradition. So the Bobcats, but the Wheat Kings have always been uh, supported a little bit more. So it should help us that we're not going head-to-head -head every night, and we only go head-to-head -head with the basketball team once. Those are some of the things that we'd like to control, but we always we can't. And so, and then, and then we should be promoting a little bit more. I think probably the key is if you're winning, more people show up. I guess now uh, we just talked about fans, uh, talked about the scheduling. What about the star players? I mean, last year you had Darren Dirtle and Dick. They're the kind of players that people love to go watch and play. Any new faces? Uh, what the players you think are going to be keys this year to draw the fans into the building? Well, Glenn McDab, uh, who had an off-season last year because of uh, a death in his family, never really got into it. I think he can be very exciting. Uh, Jeff Smith. He's, he's very good with the puck. Uh, he could he could be exciting to watch. And this Don Gagne, uh, he's still not used to the university, but he has some great skills, and he could be entertaining. 
sticking with making the money, sticking with uh, the players. You go with a lot of local talent. You think that's another key to getting people into the building? Without a doubt. My, my belief is we might as well, if, if they're good enough, we might as well be playing with the local players. They, they bring out relatives, parents who bring out other people. And uh, we noticed that a little bit last year. And uh, this year we have a few more Brandon kids. And uh, I think it's going to be exciting. Okay, final question, Mark. I guess uh, just looking back, uh, you've got a busy season ahead. You're the athletic director this year. You're the hockey coach as well. Uh, uh, final thoughts? Well, as far as the hockey, I, I don't really think my, my outlook has changed much because I've been involved in it uh, probably more than anything. I, I look at the overall program now and, uh, and probably have a, a more vested interest in the basketball program. And hopefully all three teams have very successful years, and that's what I'm looking forward to.